Hey guys, this is Steven Chung, otherwise known as Steven. Student ID is SUKD1701606. Today, let's talk about a film that is quite controversial, Cuties. So, in case you don't know, Cuties, otherwise known as Mignot, is 2020, it's a 2020 French original film. It is an original Netflix film that was directed by Mimano Dicchio and was distributed by BAC Film. The whole thing was about 1 hour and 36 minutes long. So, to summarize the whole movie, uh, the whole movie aims to critique about how society tends to sexualize girls in the representation of an 11 years old Senegalese girl who lives in a very traditional household that wants to learn about dancing when she got influenced by her friends and the video she saw on the internet. Now the reason why I want to talk about this movie is due to the mixed reaction of the movie they got from the audience itself. So this is the original poster that was used in France, but this is the poster that was used for global screening in Netflix. You see where I'm going with? So while there are people complaining about how provocative the characters can be in posters, some defend that there's a deeper meaning that can be found in the movie itself. So the director of the movie herself actually stated that she wants to film to portray the femininity is being misunderstood by the social media. She also stated that the western culture and media are often oppressing women by objectifying their bodies. Despite the controversy, the Rotten Tomatoes, which is a type of movie review website, the cuties actually got a lot of good reviews from critics, but of course not from the audience themselves. So not only that, the movie actually got nominated for next year's Oscar, which is on 2021, even when the audience are creating a petition asking customers to cancel their Netflix subscription. To understand this, I will be using cultivation theory that was founded by George Gaebner in 1969 where he studied the effect of television on the audience. However, Vinny in 2019 stated that there are also other newer research in that study on other effects of media such as social media, internet, film and even books. Let's go to the actual definition of the theory itself. So the definition of the theory is heavy exposure of media that causes individuals to develop an illusionary perception of reality. Now the keyword here of this definition is based on repetitive and consistent messages of a particular medium. So that means if an individual uses a specific medium such as watching television, he or she will be have a he will have a mindset based on how the television portrayed for a long period of time. So for example, theory believes that people who actually watch a lot of violent movies tend to see the world to be more violent and dangerous. So from the audience standpoint, I fully understand why they got mad. So using the same theory, heavy users of anything can easily affect how they see the world based on the particular medium they use. In this case, it would be the Netflix show itself. So if a consumer is exposed to sexual content heavily, it may affect he or she see the society. The movie revolved around the main character who happened to be a child and it was heavily sexualized by posing seductive faces, showing sexualized dancing. Whether is it for a good cause of this movie was made or a message that our director Mimio Dikyo was trying to send out, one way or another it would definitely affect some of the audience view on children's behavior on using the internet. Worst case scenario, some audience might even think that children today, in today's society are all sexualized due to the influence of media. Also, ex now the audience I explain is quite general. What about the younger audience? Sure, Netflix did specify that this movie actually is an R-rated movie. Do you think this would stop them from watching it? No. If so, they would not understand the meaning that was embedded into the movie. Instead, they would only see the children in the movie as sexualized, giving them a wrong impression of so today's society children. I know that most of the audience is unpleasant with the movie due to the sexualizing of children but there are also other parts of the movie that should be pointed out. For example, based on my view as the audience, I, the other thing that should the movie messed up is that the context the movie used. The main character in the movie is actually a Muslim. It was stated many times in the beginning, in the middle and even to the end. And I get the movie is trying to achieve some kind of shock value. But using this, the movie might actually give the audience a wrong impression towards Muslims. By showing a Senegalese girl who being sexualized, audience might actually have a perceived reality where Muslims are likely to be provocative or doing provocative things such as seducing their own relatives or even uh, public indecency. It also shows that the main character does many acts 
that are illegal in the society. They are considered illegal in the society, such as filming other schoolmates' private part in a public restroom, stealing, and even attempted murder. If the content like this is often shown to the audience, they will surely be influenced, causing them to think that the world is very unsafe from all these illegal activities. In short, I think that Mimiona de Cure want to send out a message about women being oppressed and sexualized is good, but she could have done a lot better. For example, it is not necessary for her to use a child actor for this kind of movie, but using an adult cast for the main character, she, the movie would just be as impactful. And so this concludes my review on the movie itself. So what do you think? Comment your thoughts and I'll see you next time. Bye!